How's it going, gamer? Karen? Oh, Shadow! Here with the first part of my Resident Evil 7 walkthrough. So we are going to get started. And guys, this is a big one for me because I'm not a horror game fan. I have played this game. And let me tell you, oh my god. It was just, ugh, like, constantly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the first part of this walkthrough. That's straight. I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Ugh, that's not good. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's me. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her. How? What happened? I, I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know. I know. But what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Driving. Driving. You can look around basically in this part. You really can't do anything until he stops the car. That'd be cool if they added if you could drive to like different parts of the house, like or different areas, rather than just having to get out, like park here. So okay, so he's going to get out. You're gonna walk straight through here. This is the place. And we're going to go into this bleh, nastiness. Bleh. Check my objective. I already know what it is. This is locked. Mm, well, nice. And you can go ahead and search this car if you want. You really don't have to, but I think that it's just a good idea. You get some clues of what's going on. You can pick up this paper. You can rotate it. And join us. No, thank you. Okay. Put that down. Oh, somebody's a uh, tripod. Can I have that tripod? <laughs> Ugh. So we might want to get an exterminator. <laughs> what was that? Okay. I already did like this. Oh. Oh, freak! Jeez. Ew. Remains. Oh my god. Okay, let's just, uh, uh, R3 to crouch, not couch. Well, let's get a couch out here. You know, they really need to clean up. This is really gross. I don't want to go in here. You can't make me. Okay, I'm going down. Ah! 
up. Driver's license. Me yes. And um, some burnt to a crisp stuff. Alright, so we're gonna go in here and do this. Yee <laughs> And fair warning, guys, I think the door shut behind you. Yep. I can't get out now. Ah! Damn. Okay, you're gonna open this door. You can shut it if you want. I don't think you can get back in there. Yeah, you can. Okay. Obviously, I can't open that yet. I don't have the... I think it's a chainsaw or pliers, whatever. You can look at this photo, it's kind of burnt. Guys, if you open drawers, you can find clues, like on the back of pictures or notes. So sometimes you might want to do that. And then these little tape things, tape recorder things, you can save on them. And obviously, I already have two safe slots because I have played this with a family member. So, she's got one safe slot, I got the other. And I'm not even done with this game on mine yet, on my other one. Just gonna go ahead and save. Oh, we're gonna pick up this videotape. And I think we have to take it downstairs. Oh, I didn't even know there was something in the recline seat. So that's a clue. Okay, can't pull that yet. Oh, that just gave me the chills, gamers and gamers. Okay, you guys, I'm already at eight minutes. I really don't want to do the next part until I get to another video because I'm gonna have to cut it in parts and I really don't want to do that. So I'm gonna see you on my next walkthrough for Resident Evil 7. Bye gamers and gamers.